Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I have created today this look for me. It's a soft kind of look, not harsh. I used the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. This was not bought recently. I bought it on uh, the first batch that they give out, and they still have like great pigmentation. I mean the the palette. It's a awesome palette. I think it's retails for forty nine dollars. On the Sephora website. For this look I try to be uh, on the neutral side so I use a uh, candy peach, I use Georgia and I use summer jam and for a popping color I use the delectable. This whole palette I just like bought it for this color for this candy peach. It's awesome. I think it's a unique color. Yeah and also this video a part of using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'll use the new Wet n Wild foundation, the Photo Focus foundation, and the pressed powder, and the sticks. I use the blush, the corrector, the contouring. I think I used it all. So, first impression, it was super good. I give it a thumbs up. So, let's get started to the tutorial. Okay, first I take the, in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I'm taking the color Georgia. I'm taking the Spectrum L812 and I'm going on the Summer Yam color, which is like a brown, kind of warm brown. And I'm just put it here on my crease line. Also blended it out outside. All over. Now I'm taking a Spectrum A13 and I'm digging into the Candy Peach color. Okay, right when I finish, I take the tape off. As you can see, I already put on my lashes and did my eyeliner my wing eyeliner um, I use the House of Lashes just to wing it uh, this is the Tinkerbell um, special edition I still you can still get that on the website they're pretty awesome uh, so far I've been loving this kind of lashes the House of Lashes of all okay now um, I'm so excited about this part because um, I just bought uh, the Wet n Wild, the Photo Focus Foundation. This is my first time using it. I hope I got my shape right. This is bronze beige. It's a medium tan. Yeah, I don't have a medium tan. But um, I did swatch it a bit on, on Walgreens because I got it on Walgreens and it swatched super good. Like the color of my skin, it matched the color of my skin pretty uh, much so um, yeah I love what a while it's super affordable and it's cruelty free I am also will try to use like all wet and wild brushes I have them right here and I have also the press powder the wet and wild photo focus press powder and I have it in shade neutral buff A22E I got the stick foundations the one you can contour with the one you can do the correction with and I have the blush here I never use stick blushes so this is the first one also for me so um, I already used this one and I love it it's super super mega illuminator well it says it's a mega cushion highlight illuminator so I'm guessing it's it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, 
I love it so much. It comes with a sponge or that mini sponge of this kind of type of sponge. And you open it, it's like a mini cushion. You can see it. You just dip your little sponge over there and then you apply it on your face. I also bought the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter Powder in Precious Petal. I also have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in Purple Haze. And I, I did open this one and I did like a swatch and it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, let's finish this tutorial. Okay, I already primed my face. I didn't find the Wet n Wild primer because I wanted to start off with that but I didn't find it. But um, I did use the Gulam uh, primer. It's the one with the gold flex inside. It's supposed to tighten your skin. It's my first time open. So. Okay, let's do this. And this is too dark for me. I don't know why I say not dark, but it seems so dark. Oh my god, this is so dark. I don't know. I knew from the first time the lady gave me that name. I said, yeah, I'm not even medium. I have never been medium. I'm always fair, light. Yeah, those are my kind of names. I think I am like a porcelain or something like that. I need to go back and do little swatches. That is the downside of buying on like Walgreens or CVS. You have to guess. I mean, you cannot open it. Now I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Makeup Stick Concealer. I mean, it's like a big crayon. Now for contouring, I'm doing the Mega Glow Makeup Stick Contour in shade Oaks on you. I guess it's super dark, but let's do this. They're blending pretty well, and with their their brush, I'm just doing the same brush. I use the same brush for applying the foundation, the corrector, and now the contouring. Let's just go with it. Now for blush, I want to use the blush on, on this crayon kind of stick um, but I do also have the ombre blush here and like I said and I also have this one <laughs> but I'm guessing I will use this one ah, I a little bit. and I still need to bend it I'm going to use their new photo focus press powder on the shade neutral buff. So for that I will be using like the brush. I will like dip it and I will put this. to get in 
since the brush is so big. Okay, so I already brushed with this brush and I already set my face. Now I'm going with the blush. Again, the makeup stick, the blush in the shade Peach Balm. Let's do this. It swatch pretty good. See? Let's see how it goes to the here. Like I'm just like I don't, I don't wanna strike it. I don't wanna to create lines or like it's such a nice blush. Then I'm going again with the same brush I've been using for my foundation, my contour, my... Swatch is super awesome. So yeah. Okay, now for the highlight. Just to be on the same kind of side of the contouring stick and the foundation, the liquidy. I don't want to use any other powder, so I'm using my what about the Kuchel one. Who's that pro? It's the shale. So yeah, let's do this. When I'm putting highlighter, I always do like a V shape. Really, I do like a boomerang. You know, the boomerang like has like this kind of shade, like a V shape. Do like do it like that. Okay, well, I'm going to go with my fingertip now. Da, da, da. Okay, now I need to finish my lower lash line and. The lipstick and we'll go to the and I will go a bit with the detectable back and forth with summer yeah and detectable okay this is taking this other brush from what a while and I'm dipping it into the candy fish now I'm taking with my fingers and using nectar which is this color? I'm putting it on my inner corners. And I'm going with this pencil and I'm trying to bring it right back in. All together. I think I dropped the four. I'm going with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. And I'm going to. And once again, I'm 
going back with the same brush and I'm going to with detectable blend that in so it doesn't have like a harsh line now I'm going to be mascara and I'm going lashes and by the way I'm using the Kiko Milano extra sculpt volume mascara okay so for lips now we'll go with this one with the new this pitch just go with the whole look I did open this yesterday try to swatch it let's just grab the setting spray very important Yes, we're good to go this is the finished look uh, for me it did turn out pretty good I wasn't since my foundation didn't match I thought the look was going to be um, off you know I started I'm um, guessing with the wrong foot but um, it did blend it pretty well yeah for me it has a bit of strong smell the foundation but it only lasts like a couple of minutes and then it goes away because right now I am not smelling at all the foundation but it did at first strike me a bit overall the foundation, the pressed powder um, I mean the brushes, the lipsticks um, I haven't worn this lipstick like more than like one hour I just put it here and end the video but um, the reviews they say they last pretty much like more than four hours uh, without retouching they're super affordable like I say they're cruelty free they're $3.99 yeah I bought them for $3.99 at Walgreens I mean you can find it find it at your local CVS Walgreens and of course the Wet n Wild website the highlight I love the highlighters they're super on point they're super popping they're like compatible to like the high-end highlighters the stick foundations you know the the contouring and the blush I love the blush the other ones I'm um, still on the fence right now I need to play with them a bit more but uh, for this tutorial they work pretty good I hope you enjoy this tutorial Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up. Also, check out my Instagram. I post videos over there, photos. I say when I will be posting the videos over here. Um, if you don't have an Instagram, it's okay. You can, um, on the YouTube channel, when you hit subscribe, you hit the little bell so you get notified each time that you have uh, new videos. But yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and bye!